So it's Monday morning. We're out here with Ramon. We already got ourselves a problem. We've already got the hedger truck buried down to the train about every spot that it could possibly get buried down to here. Fuel tank sitting on the ground, back tires are buried, but the main problem is gonna be the bottom of the forklift mast that lifts these arms up is down into the mud. That's gonna be our issue to get it out. That's what's holding us up the most. So the goal here is going to be to use the mini to try and drag it out forward and if that doesn't work then we're going to have to try and pull it from behind but we're going to see how it goes. So we got the hedger out, we, got to, we had to pull it out from the back, and we also had to add an additional tractor to help pull it out. So we had John Deere tractor, four wheel drive, plus the excavator, and we had to pull it out that way. And I've just spent the last little bit smoothing it up as good as you will, as good as I can. Here we are again. <laughs> Here we are again. Ramon's got her stuff. Edge of the orchard's a little bit slippery. Almost made it around. Almost. So we're gonna hook her up to the old Dirty Mac here and see if we can get her out. Got her in four wheel drive here and let's see if we can give her a yoink. Easy peasy. Hey everybody, if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. So last week, and I think maybe even the week before that, we haven't really done a tree update since uh, the original one during bloom. So we're out here at a cherry, a sweet cherry orchard that we took out in this winter. It goes up over the hill here and down over the, over the backside. And we got guys out here right now picking up the any rocks and roots and um, that we have been able to dig up so far. I'm gonna start running this tractor again here to stay ahead of these guys and uh, keep ripping up the field to start. But like I said, we're gonna come over here and take a look at some of our older sweet cherry blocks. This orchard's probably oh, 30 something years old, I imagine. So we start coming in here a little bit and these cherries are starting to come out of the shucks. You can see them all here. And the shuck would be an example, it would be what's left around this cherry. And as they grow, they kind of peel out of those. And if, you know, the more you look up and you really start to see that now the cherries are growing a bit, there's actually a pretty decent crop of sweet cherries out here. And that's good news for us. So while we're waiting for the tractor to warm up a little bit more, I figured I'd give everyone a tour of the inside of this tractor. It's our Case 7220, right around 150 horsepower. This is our biggest tractor we have. And now obviously people see the John Deere stuff in this tractor. Uh, we have a John Deere guidance system in it. And from what I've heard is everyone likes the John Deere guidance, but nobody wants to pay the prices for the John Deere tractors. And uh, we couldn't be more on board with that. This is our Red Ripper we'll be pulling through. It's got a line of discs in the front to help cut the sod. And it's got about eight big ripper hooks in the back. And I already started this field. And you can see the guys out here are 
just starting to uh, pick. So I got to get out ahead of them and get some of these rows ripped up. we can go over a little bit about what a rootstock is. A rootstock is a part of a plant that is underground, mostly the, root, mostly the root system. And what we do with that is we plant it, and there's different types of rootstock. There's there's dwarfing, semi-dwarfing, standard rootstocks, and there's probably others that, that I don't know. And what we do is we'll plant that in the ground, and we'll let that plant grow up. And as it grows and, per, and makes a trunk, We'll then cut that existing plant off and graph and tape whatever variety of apple or cherry that we would like to grow. And that's also where the top working comes over the second half of this question is what is top working? And that's where we're gonna go in and choose what variety we want and cut off the existing rootstock growth and graft on the type of apple or cherry that we would like to grow. So we're back out here on the second day of tilling up the field behind me. The guys are still out here the next day picking up the rocks and I'm gonna get started behind them. Uh, I'm gonna do the first pass with the disc. Brought it out with my truck today. Just got the ripper disconnected and we'll hook up to the disc and we'll get tilling. I'm not gonna lie. I saw somebody online throw their pin down into their pitch. Let's give it a go. Oh, I was so close. And of course, we gotta be greasing with our trusty Milwaukee. So we're out here in the field after the partial first pass on the with the disc and you can tell still where the trees were is working up real nice but we still got some serious chunks of sod left in here we're probably gonna have to wait for some of this to decompose and get a little bit more moisture before we start our second cut <laughs> 